every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it, Sam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I'm also known as Ashra Plays on my other socials, and we are finally back with another episode for my Yumi and Komorebi series. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the first episode. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. But as you can tell by the intro and the title of today's video, Yume is not in Komorebi. She's actually in Oasis Springs. And before we get into that, I want to quickly update you guys on Yume. So I did do a little bit of playing off camera. The last time you saw Yume was at the nightclub with all of her friends in Komorebi. So for the following day, I had Kiyoshi and Destiny head back home. And I did have Yume do a bit of work with her brand deals. She answered comments from her fans. If you don't recall, Kiyoshi did ask her on a date, but by the time he had asked her, she had to head to work within like two hours. So there wasn't enough time for them to go out for brunch. So I had them eat together at Yume's house instead. And then she went to work and she works pretty late. She works from like three p.m. to 10 p.m. so by the time she got off work she was sore she was tired and so I had her head to bed and the following day is barbecue day in my game and so I decided to have Yume and her friends go on a trip to celebrate and now we are in Oasis Springs. So it's Wednesday as you can see here it says barbecue day here are the events that I have for barbecue day we have barbecuing which Yume loves because she likes cooking we have drinking fireworks party spirits and water fun and as you can tell at the bottom left corner of the screen i'm actually controlling all of yume's friends and i'm not using the control any sim mod i actually just merged all the households together and i did this to be messy y'all i did this to be 100 percent messy i want to see who's texting who who got an attractiveness alert for who i also want to see people's relationships their sentiments i want to see what's going on between everybody because first of all we already got tea with all Andre. Andre wants to flirt with Destiny. So I checked his relationship with Destiny and he finds her to be attractive. So yeah, that is exactly why we're controlling them all. But do not worry, Mei and Ichigo are actually staying with Yume's grandmother back in Malcolm Rebbe. And you guys will meet her grandmother a little bit later on in this series. But before we get into the barbecue day festivities, I want to introduce everybody that's on the trip and then give you guys a house tour of the rental lot that Yume and her friends are staying at. So of course Kiyoshi Yume's boyfriend came along. You already know he was coming. <laughs> And then we have Destiny, her best friend. We also invited Yume's co-workers, Yasmin and Setsuko. Andre is here. He's a close friend with Taku. And Taku actually invited his sister Miki to come along on this trip as well. Here is the rental lot that Yume and her friends are going to be staying at for the next two days while in Oasis Springs. The original lot is made by Mr. Olkin. If you're not familiar with this creator, I need you to get familiar because they make some phenomenal CC and CC free builds, so you should definitely check them out. But as always, I did make quite a few changes to fit my personal style, and I decided to go for like a mid-century modern aesthetic in the inside, not the outside. The outside is very much giving like contemporary modern, but the inside is giving mid-century modern but we're gonna start off with the outside so as you can see here we have two rental cars out here the first one is like this infinity and there's like a bunch of seating in here for when Yume and the girls want to go out to like downtown Oasis Springs to go like grocery shopping which they did this morning and I'll show you guys what all they bought and then of course the guys got this really nice Maserati for them <laughs> it's the fact that these damn cars aren't even functional and I put so much thought into this. <laughs> Because you can't even use these cars. Like, EA, I please, please, I'm begging you. I am begging you to add functional cars to the game so I don't sound crazy right now. 
<laughs> this is solely for storytelling but then we have this golf cart and this is for them to like go around the neighborhood they are currently staying in this really nice neighborhood in oasis springs i believe this is skyward palms but as you can see here this neighborhood is very close to a golf course but when you enter the front door you are met with the foyer area this is what it looks like going to your right is the kitchen and i love the kitchen so much i am obsessed with it the main star of the kitchen is the bean collection by tuds definitely check it out i love the look of everything i've definitely been having not even like a mid-century modern vibe but like more of like a very modern futuristic aesthetic and that's why i was really hoping being that EA would give us a futuristic themed pack. I'm still hoping that we get that in the future, but leaving the kitchen and then going straight, you're entered into the living room. And again, we're going for that mid-century modern theme, but I decided to go for like this emerald green and dark orange color palette and I'm obsessed y'all. Like I think I found my new obsession. Definitely love how this living room turned out. It is one of my favorite interiors that I've done. So now we're gonna go into some guest bedrooms and the first one right here is Destiny in Miki's bedroom and I didn't do much decorating in here because they aren't going to be in here all that much but here is Destiny in Miki's suitcases going out this door and then going to the one adjacent to it is Setsuko and Yasmin's room again not that much detail went to these guest bedrooms but here are Yasmin and Setsuko's suitcases right outside Setsuko and Yasmin's door is the laundry nook and we have like a washer and dryer here and I hate the lighting because it makes these look like two different colors but we'll have Yume do her laundry while she's here. This door here leads you into Taku and Andre's room and of course they have two beds because fragile masculinity I don't know. <laughs> But we also have Taku and Andre's suitcases here. But leaving Taku and Andre's room and then heading into this room leads you into the bathroom. This is what their bathroom looks like. It comes with the two showers and two sinks and then a toilet down there in the corner. Yeah, there we go. And I hate that they have to share that one bathroom, but this let's be serious ain't about them, so <laughs> they'll manage. But going through this door here is the master bedroom, and this is where Yume and her man are gonna be staying. This is what their room looks like. I hate that the skylight is bugging so badly right now, but we're gonna just ignore it. We're just gonna ignore it. Look at this bed, y'all. Hello? And so this bed and then the detailing for this is actually from the Eliza bedroom collection. I'll have this bedroom collection linked in the description, but I'm gagged. I am so gagged at this entire set. Like this is so beautiful to me, but we have Kiyoshi in Yume suitcase here and this is from the Traveler collection by Sibulet and I'm obsessed with this collection. I definitely think it's perfect for your sims when they are traveling but again here is another closet with a guest robe in it and then here is a view from their bed. They have this nice fireplace and then the Samsung Frank TV and then here's what their bathroom looks like. It looks just like the other one because I don't like decorating bathrooms <laughs> but I do like how this one turned out. But one thing I do love about Yume in Kiyoshi's room is that it leads you out into the backyard and so we have like this really nice sitting area and then we also have like this food display here and this is where the girls went earlier this morning. They went grocery shopping to put some food out for the day party that they're having for a barbecue day. And here's what the setup looks like. We have a meat and cheese platter. We have all types of liquor out, all types of wine and champagne out, fruit, salmon, and all the food shown are by Stomach and Severinka. And I just covered all these mods in my most recent mods video. I'll have that linked in the description down below, but definitely check it out. Cause as you can see, Stomach and Severinka does not miss at all. And then we finally have the pool area. And this is what you guys saw in the intro. So I won't go too much into detail, but we just have like some seating over over here this really nice pool again by Mr. Oaken um, we have this ping pong table and then over here in this corner we have the bar and grill and I'll show another view of that we have like a random ass drink right here I definitely will be having you may drink it though <laughs> 
But here's what the bar looks like. And a lot of the CC used for this area is by Peacemaker. And I want to say it's from their Krata collection. And so let's talk about what's on today's agenda. It's pretty laid back. I actually don't have much planned other than them just partying at their rental lot, enjoying the pool, relaxing, eating food. And then later on tonight, we'll have them shoot fireworks. And I can't lie, if you've watched my other Let's Play series, I'm a little bit traumatized by lighting fireworks but I'm gonna really hope nothing goes bad. But after the demo fireworks, we're gonna have them all head over to a karaoke bar in downtown Oasis Springs and end the night off there. Y'all look at everybody chilling at the pool. This is so cute. Let me check on Yue's needs real quickly. Oh, she's getting hungry, okay. We're about to go to that food table and grab something to eat. So we're gonna grab a glass of wine and then I think I'm gonna have her eat some avocado toast. Oh wait, no, I forgot about this drink. Okay, we'll have her drink this instead. I think this... Is this a lemon drop? What is this? I don't know, it's some type of martini. I'll put it in her inventory. Look how cute she is. <laughs> and look how good that salmon avocado juice looks. <laughs> how did I eat like that, y'all? Y'all know I'm gonna do it. Home. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no! Andre's spotlight is fading. Andre's fame will start to fade soon. Oh my gosh. Here, let me have him add to his Instagram story. I mean, this is actually pretty Instagram worthy. Hanging out with a bunch of celebrities in Oasis Springs. <laughs> Should we have him talk to Destiny? Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> Y'all, Taco is so adorable. He reminds me so much of Matthew. <laughs> Let me have you may drink that martini. What's Miki doing? Is she dancing? I'm so weak. I am so weak right now. She's a vibe. She really is Matthew. Her and her brother are literally Matthew. If you don't know who Matthew is, he's featured in my Discovery Uni Let's Play series. Oh, they're talking, y'all. Hold on, let me turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. There we go. Again, I want to remind you guys that Yasmin has a crush on Setsuko. Oh, delightfully susceptible. Sesko seemed to respect the skill it took for Yasmin to craft such a devious lie. Does this mean that Setsuko likes deception? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Yasmin lie? <laughs> should we have Should we have Yume talk to her ex? Why is everybody's spotlight fading? I swear, this is so annoying. I need to find a mod that prevents your sims from losing a celebrity star. You know, we'll have you may take a picture with her and then she'll post it on her Instagram story. She also got a buff from the martini, beachy affair, cocktails on the beach in the summer. Or not on the beach, but uh, close enough. Misty oh, the lighting is trash. We're going somewhere else. <laughs> this is me in real life, y'all. If the lighting's not good, I don't want it. Victor Fang? Referendum BMD420 is on the ballot this year. Where do you stand on this important issue? We don't even live in Samurai Shuna. Why are we getting this? Please remove me from your calling list. Yue has learned that Victor is a representative at Concerned Citizens of My Shuno. Oh, now her want to talk to her boyfriend. No, girl, we gotta take this picture with Destiny. You know what? <laughs> okay, I'll let her talk to her boyfriend. <laughs> I'll let her talk to Kiyoshi. Oh, speaking of Kiyoshi, speaking- I'm so sorry I'm pausing so much. I usually don't play with this many sims, so I'm a little bit overwhelmed. But tell me why he has like a little bit of relationship status with Kauri. And I had to look back at the footage from last episode to make sure, and it was set to zero. I made sure to set this to zero. And for some reason, they have 
a 25% romance. So this lets me know that I think the game might have generated this. I don't, I don't know. Like, it makes me wonder if he really did flirt with Cowdy at the nightclub. Because if you don't recall, like, his relationship with Yume went down a bit. And I'm wondering if maybe something did happen between them. So now I'm, like, side-eyeing Kyoshi a little bit because... Why do we have a relationship meet with Cowdy? I'm not gonna lie though, they are so adorable. Ignore their their legs clipping into the pool. <laughs> oh, Destiny's over here too. Alright. Let's get that picture of Destiny. I did get a few questions asking about um, Kiyoshi and Taku's relationship and if he's okay with like Taku still being friends with Yume and honestly like they're all pretty cool with each other like he doesn't have the best relationship with Taku it's just because things between them are a little bit awkward because they do share like an ex so you know like they're they're very cordial they don't have any type of beef but I don't know y'all we'll see how it we'll see how it pans out. <laughs> Anji! Oh, this is so much better, y'all. Since Andre still has that flirt with Destiny wants, I don't know, maybe, mm, screw it. We'll have him do it. Oh, <laughs> compliment her appearance. Let's just be like, you know what? That's supposed to look real good on you, girl. And then we'll have Yume. I was gonna have her talk to Taku. I was gonna be messy and have her talk to Taku, but he's talking to his sister. Him and his sister, I, I, I know it's like a broken record, but they are literally like the cutest. I think I'll just have Yume relax in the pool. We'll back float. Oh, he's feeling flirty from that. Feeling fulfilled from want fulfillment. Andre checks one more task off the list of things that he wants to do. I'm still let them do their own thing and see what happens. Oh, he's getting hungry though. What's she doing? <laughs> she asked him something. It looks like they're vibing, so... Maybe something will happen between the two of them. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm actually gonna check on everybody else's needs to make sure everyone's good. Like Taku's getting hungry. I mean, they're doing a pretty decent job at fulfilling them on their own. Hello? Kage's with Kyoshi Ito? I mean, it says from being friends, but Miki, girl, why you wanna do that? Why you can't Kage's with your brother? <laughs> mm, side eye, very much side eye. Ooh, flirt with someone from being romantic. Another reminder, Setsuko has a crush on Yume. So Yasmin has a crush on Setsuko, Setsuko has a crush on Yume. Setsuko is wanting to flirt with someone, but like, I really don't see her wanting to do that with Yume because one, she knows that she's in a relationship with Kiyoshi, and then two, that's just very messy, and I really don't see that being like Setsuko's character. But maybe we can have her flirt with Yasmin instead. Check on everyone else's needs. Okay, Kiyoshi needs to use the restroom. I'll have him do that. It says he also wants to kiss someone, so. I'll have him kiss Yume a little bit later on. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, become flirty? Oh, maybe I can have Destiny talk to Andre a bit more. Offer Rose, kiss hands, girl. Exchange numbers. I feel like they should already have each other's number. Let's just ask if he's single. And then as for Sesco, I'm just gonna let these two do their own thing. I definitely want like this whole storyline to be very natural and just let the Sims do what they want to do. Look at Miki! Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Is Kyoshi a romantic Sim? Like all he wants to do is romantic interactions. <laughs> yes. Did Destiny talk to Andre? I don't think she did. And Andre left his banana peel here. That is so trifling. It's four o'clock. I think I'm gonna do a game of beer pong. And then after that, it should be dark enough to do fireworks, I think. I'm gonna play with Destiny and Yume. And they're gonna play against, not Don Lothario popping up. We're gonna have her play against Andre and, oh, not Taku, Kyoshi. <laughs> Oh, I like Yoshi. And you know what? Miki really is a party girl. She's definitely a party girl at heart. I'm gonna have her ask her brother to do a keg stand for her. Alright, we got the game of Juice Pong going. Everybody. 
<laughs> and Yumi got it on the first try. Oh, it looks like Satsuko gained a sentiment with Yasmin. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. They are so adorable. What's Taku and um, Miki doing? I had them use the juice keg and I completely missed the interaction. Oh well. Oop! Ha! Kombu! Oh, oh sad <laughs> Oh, period! Oh! What a vibe! Now we're being jealous of you, me, and her friends. No. Like, I need a vacation like this immediately. Relaxing with your friends. With all types of food here. In Oasis Springs at a nice mansion? Like, what? No. Not us being tied. What happened? Uh, I swear, if the boys win, I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. Like y'all had such a huge lead. No way! No way! <laughs> Not the guys winning. You made destiny. What happened? Winner Kyoshi, losers you made destiny. Score four to three. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, let's just have you may grab a meat platter. I was kind of hoping she would sit next to Taku. What? Did y'all see that? I think Taku was low key checking her out. <laughs> oh, are they doing the juice keg together? Me? Oh, they uh -huh. are. Mm. Live before. Mm. Mm -hmm. And she stick it uh -huh. too. <laughs> New family dynamic jokesters. Cue the punchline. Taku and Miki just can't stop cracking each other up. They are the cutest. Of course, they like being jokesters. Ah. Oh, not not yes, me being drunk. Uh, <laughs> Destiny is so fine, y'all. Oh, she is so fine. Wait, did Yasmin get Andre to- No way. No way, girl. I'm sorry, this is so out of character for Yasmin. And she's taking it like a champ, too. I know that's right. <laughs> now Andre need to be. It is starting to get dark and everyone headed back inside. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do the fireworks and then head over to the nightclub. And I'm also gonna put all the food in the fridge for them to eat on later on. Is Kyoshi drinking a glass of Hennessy for me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, before we do fireworks, I'm gonna fill up everybody's needs, have them already get dressed for the nightclub so that by the time they do all that, it is pretty dark so that we can see the fireworks. So we're gonna do that. All right, it's nine o'clock, everyone's changed. And here's Yume's outfit for tonight. It's this cute maxi dress. And I posted this dress on my TikTok maybe last week or the week before. And everyone and their mother was saying it reminds them of Roblox. Anyways, I think she eats. <laughs> I think she's eating. She looks so good. And so I filled up all of Yume's needs, but I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I cheated everybody else's just a little bit. Just just a little bit. Like I cheated their energy because everyone's energy was just not that great. And also the fact that there's eight sims and it's just very hard to maintain them all. So I think I'm gonna focus on just maintaining Yume's needs and just cheating everybody else's throughout this trip. Like Yoshi, we gonna we gonna cheat his hunger just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, but we're gonna have you may order the fireworks for everybody. We're gonna do sparklers. I'm gonna grab some for the ladies and then we'll have the guys light the fireworks. We'll do a fireworks spinner. Mm, we won't do like a really big one just because again, I'm, I am very traumatized from the last time I used fireworks in the Sims. I think we'll do a spark fountain too. We'll have Kyoshi light the first one. Hello? 
Y'all, Setsuko just got an attractiveness alert for Destiny. <laughs> Setsuko said, damn, Destiny looking real fine with this little two-piece on. <laughs> I am so weak. Okay, it looks like Kyoshi lit the sparkler, but nobody came out here. Okay. Okay, that was kind of cute. <laughs> that was kind of cute. Let me have... You may pass out the sparklers. I know Miki's gonna want one. Where is she? Is she over here dancing again? Girl. And then we'll hand one to... Setsuko. I should have got five. I should have got one for Yasmin as well. It's okay. Hey, this time I'll have Andre lights. The firework. We're gonna have him do the spark fountain. No way. <laughs> no way. I'm not playing with fireworks ever again, the Sims. I'm not doing it because why? Are you serious? Andre, please distinguish this. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Andre! Please! Distinguish this! No, don't run inside! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Call the fire department, please, you may. I don't even know what to say, y'all. Is the fireman here yet? Hello? It's spreading! There's no way! Did the fire department not come? Alright, I need one of y'all to be brave enough to come in here. Kyoshi, please come in here and distinguish this. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Uh, yibs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can never go right in my game. <laughs> but at least Kiyoshi had a successful barbecue day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're heading over to the nightclub. I'm not even dealing with this right now. We made it to downtown Oasis Springs and we are at the karaoke bar. I'll have the information for the karaoke bar on the screen for you guys to download as well. But before we get into the karaoke bar, there's actually something I want to show you guys first. And it is this billboard override by one of my good mutuals. I'll have his information on the screen as well. I also have it linked in the description down below. But he made like these billboard overrides. You'll see them all over Samurai Shuno and they just replace like the default billboards that come with EA and there is a swatch that I want to show you guys. So if you're familiar with my Mimi and Win and Bird Let's Play series then you might see someone very familiar in one of these swatches and it is Mimi Dreamer herself. Look how cute she is with her little billboard. <laughs> She's advertising one of her favorite perfumes, J'adore by Dior and I just want to give a special shout out for Jake for even adding Mimi to his billboard overrides. I'm gonna have Taku go ahead and order drinks for the group and I think we're gonna start off with the vodka soda first. But here's the karaoke machine. I'll definitely have a few of them use it. Oh, not him being happy. <laughs> That's my jam. Not him with talking to Jay and Don Lothario. <laughs> Who is Destiny talking to? Oh, she's talking to Taku. Not her feeling sad. Something's not right. Yumi has a horrible feeling that the love of her life is on something. Is it because Kyoshi's drunk? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're literally at a nightclub. Like, what do you expect? Oh, they're so cute, though. I'm not gonna lie, though, y'all. I was expecting at least somebody to have an attractiveness alert for somebody. <gasps> Y'all, Moses is here. Moses is here. <laughs> and he's walking to Kyoshi. Hello? Okay, so if you don't know, this is... Hold on, let me pause this because whoever's over here is just singing loud as hell. It's Gavin Richards. I am so weak. But for those that don't know, this is Moses Kumar. He is from 
basically every single one of my let's play series he always makes a cameo in every single one of them he lives in oasis springs and he is in the tech guru career but yeah he's basically like <laughs> a little mini celebrity on my channel <laughs> wait what not moses a fan hold on no we saw that we peeped that listen y'all i I, I low-key want Destiny to interact with him, but we're just gonna do like a friendly introduction. We're gonna keep it cordial because I really don't want anything more to happen between them. Oh, looks like they got a first impression. Strong-minded. Uh, you know what? Let, let me just check something real quickly. Oh my, okay. All right. <laughs> of course she finds Moses extremely attractive. Why would she not? Oh, y'all look at- <gasps> No way. Ain't no way. Moses is such a player. He is such a player. Like, it's the fact that this man Lily hits on all of my sims. Destiny has accepted Moses' advances. He looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experiencing a passionate moment with Destiny. I just don't understand why Moses gotta be such a freak. Like, why are you trying to get with all of my sims? <laughs> If you don't know, I have two other Let's Play series. The first one is Mimi Winnenberg, and the second one is Discovery University, and they actually take place in the same universe. However, my Mimi Winnenberg Let's Play series is like half a year ahead of the Discovery Uni Let's Play series, and in that series, I want to say it's the summertime as well. In fact, I want to say like Mimi's storyline is in sync with this one in terms of like the time of the year, whereas my Discovery Uni Let's Play series takes place in the fall time. But I don't imagine you and Komorebi being in the same universe. Like that's just too many storylines to keep up with and try to have them all match and correlate with one another. So with that being said, this is a complete different version of Moses in my mind. But I still like, I don't know. I, I'm very torn right now. Like I really don't want him to hook up with Destiny because he's already hooked up with Mimi and he's trying to hook up with Camille. And I just, there's just too much going on. Like I can't have another Sim be involved with Moses like this. So for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to have Destiny hook up with him. But I just think it's so funny that once again, Moses finds one of my Sims attractive. Like this is very on brand for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the fact that they're both feeling each other. You know what? Let me have her talk to Dawn instead. Actually, no. That's. Dawn is more grimy. <laughs> You're not doing that. What is Dina doing? Is she talking to Andre? Oh, I, I be forgetting that Andre is a supermodel. So everybody's been asking for like his picture and stuff. You know what? Let me have Destiny talk to Andre. <laughs> Let's focus on Andre instead. Let's just have her flirt with him. And again, at two different tables. <laughs> Yo, look at Taku! Oh, he's adorable! Moses is so damn fine though. Like, I cannot lie. This man is so fine. So, like, I don't blame all of my sons wanting to be with him. Is Destiny about to sing a song? Oh, she is. Oh, girl. <laughs> Acquired the singing skill, girl. We can tell. Kiyoshi and Yume are so fine. Hello? Oh, okay, she just flirted with him. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna have Kiyoshi try to convince Yume to sing after Destiny. And I'm just gonna have him whisper seductively to her. It's gonna be like, I'll give you a little award if you do it. <laughs> Oh, he wants to kiss Yume. Okay, well, we'll definitely have Kiyoshi give Yume a good luck kiss before she goes up there to sing. And you know what? You know what? <laughs> we gonna give her a little raunchy kiss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
That's definitely the motivation she needed. All right, hon, let's come up here and sing a song. We're gonna do a solo and we're gonna do, you know what? We're gonna do jazz and we're gonna do shaken, not stirred. And I'm already gonna let y'all know, I cheated you my singing school because I am so tired <laughs> of my Sims not knowing how to sing. Like it's embarrassing. I cheated her singing level to like level three. So we'll see how well she does. Not the little twirl, girl, bye. Hello? Excuse me? Uh, oh? She's not that bad, y'all. She's not that bad. Listen, if I went up to a karaoke bar and I saw Yume's fine ass up here singing a jazz song, looking as good as she does, I would instantly fall in love. Not the cheering for her, this is so cute. Yeah, Yuma ate that up, y'all. She ate that up. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I did that. Ended, ended. Is Destiny going again? Girl, throw in the towel already. Is she drunk? Okay, it says she's sobering up. Hello, is everybody asleep? What? Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not the Akiyama siblings sleeping together. This is so adorable. We gotta call it quits soon. <laughs> we need to head back home. But after Destiny gets done with her song, then we'll head home. And you know what? We'll have Kiyoshi tell Yume that she did a good job. Y'all, I am so over this new pie menu. Like, we've had this new pie menu for, what, like two, three months now? And I'm still not used to it. I still struggle trying to find certain interactions. We're just gonna have him compliment her appearance. Because she do look good. She looks fine as hell tonight. And y'all already know, when they get home, they gon' hunch. <laughs> Destiny is just singing her little heart out. Oh, not her flirting with him. They're so adorable. Oh yeah, they, they most definitely gonna be hunching when they get home. <laughs> so we finally made it home, and I think I'm just going to fill up everybody's needs and just have them head to bed. So we'll have Taku go to bed. Does she still have that want to claw gaze with Kiyoshi? She does. Girl, give it up. You are not doing that. We'll have Setsuko go to sleep. We'll skip over Kiyoshi. <laughs> we'll have Yasmin go to bed. And Andre. And then Destiny. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I kind of low-key want Andre and Destiny to hook up. But I don't know how to go about doing that. You know what? We won't do it this episode. I'll hold that thought for now. For now. And then as for you, May. <laughs> oh, I know you're lying. No way. You may girl. <laughs> no way, hun. You know what? Let's go over her buffs while we have them up. So we have a flirty buff from High Desire, such a lust for love for who? Who do you desire? Of Kiyoshi, of course. And then we have another flirty buff from her romantic traits. We have a happy buff from Good Holiday. We have another happy buff from being flattered by Kiyoshi. Another happy buff from Pretty Tasty Dish. A tense buff from the fireworks earlier. A playful buff from going to the karaoke bar. And she had a really good time. Confident buff from Karaoke Killer from singing karaoke well. She really killed it, y'all. Like, she did so good today. I was so proud of her. And we're gonna check Kyoshi's buffs. He has Accident Holiday, like Sunabai, and then Delicious Dish. So, we're gonna have Kyoshi come in here and take his girl to bed. <laughs> he about to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Not you may running. I'm I'm so weak. Girl, slow down. The woohoo ain't going nowhere. Oh no! Y'all, Setsuko has a massive hangover. Oh my gosh, y'all. Whoa! 
Girl, not you trying to do a cake stand with Setsuko oh. while you're hunching. So I'm actually going to end off today's episode right here and we're going to finish up the Oasis Springs trip next episode. And the reason why we're doing that is because one, this video is getting a lot longer than I anticipated. Like I've already recorded about three hours worth of content. That and the fact that I'm going out of town next week. So I need a bunch of content to have ready for you guys while I'm out of town so that you guys don't have to wait for like another two weeks for a new video. So it should actually be coming out within the next week or so because I've already done like the prepping for it. I just need to record it. So be on the lookout for that if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment i'd very much appreciate it please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of yume and komorebi and i'll see you guys in my next video